First, you will need to assemble the proper armamentarium. You'll need an anterior bite block, an anterior rod, aiming ring, a cotton roll, a rubber band, a thyroid collar, size 2 XDR sensor, there are size 1 sensors available for patients with smaller mouths, and a plastic sleeve for the sensor. Before assembling the bite block, determine if you'll be using the size 1 or 2 sensor. The bite block for size 2 is white, while the bite block for a size 1 is black. Firstly, attach the anterior rod, labeled as anterior, and the appropriate anterior bite block. This allows the sensor to be in a vertical position. Once they are appropriately assembled, it should resemble a set of stairs. After the main framework is established, the operator must ensure the patient's comfort. This is accomplished by placing a cotton roll parallel to the bottom part of the bite block and securing it with a rubber band. The last step of assembling the bite block will be placing the aiming ring in order to aid the operator in achieving an accurate periapical radiograph. For an anterior maxillary PA, the operator wants to select the aiming ring attachment that is centered at a right angle. This will attach to the anterior rod. A reliable method is to ensure the bite block has been correctly set up is by looking directly through the aiming ring towards the bite block. The bite block should be completely centered within the view of the aiming ring. Before beginning the process of obtaining the patient's radiographs, the operator wants to ensure that the sensor is connected to the computer. A plastic sleeve should be placed over the sensor to ensure asepsis of the process. Once the sensor is connected to the computer, the size 2 XDR sensor should be placed into the bite block. The white surface of the sensor will be facing the lingual surface of the target tooth, be at a vertical position, and the wire will be coming down from the bite block. Once the bite block has been assembled, the operator should select the appropriate settings on the x-ray control panel. For anterior maxillary PAs, the operator will select the maxillary incisor setting as well as either the adult or child setting. For this particular example, the adult setting has been selected. The operator must attach a thyroid collar around the patient's neck to protect the thyroid gland from additional and unnecessary radiation. Radiographs of the patient's central incisors, teeth 8 and 9, will be obtained. Position the sensor lingual to the target teeth. Ideally, the angle of the sensor should be parallel with the long axis of the teeth and the contact between the two incisors should be open. Allow the patient to close down fully on the bite block. Ensure that the teeth are completely occluded and not simply the lips. Once the sensor is placed, push the aiming ring closer to the surface of the patient's mouth. Adjust the rectangular collimator to a vertical position. This will allow the x-ray to capture the apex of the tooth and additional bone structure. Position the collimator closer to the aiming ring and make sure it's parallel with the anterior rod, allowing for proper exposure. The position indicating device should be perpendicular to the surfaces of the teeth that will be exposed. This ensures open contacts will be obtained. Now it's time to expose. Press the button down until a beep is heard. A proper maxillary central PA will capture the full root and crown along with the mesial halves of both lateral incisors with open contacts, and there will be two millimeters of bone past the root apex. To capture a periapical radiograph for the left maxillary lateral incisor and canine, you will have to place the sensor so that the contact between 10 and 11 is centered on the sensor. Again, the angle of the sensor should be parallel with the long axis of the tooth. Similar to before, have the patient bite down fully and push the aiming ring towards the patient's mouth once the sensor is placed. Position the collimator so that it is closer to the aiming ring and is parallel with the anterior rod. Ensure that the positioning indicating device is perpendicular to the tooth you are exposing to ensure open contacts between teeth 
10, and 11. Press the exposure button until the beep is heard. For a proper maxillary lateral and canine periapical, you will need to capture the full crown and root along with open contacts. You will also need to capture the distal of the central incisor and mesial of the first premolar. In order to take five maxillary anterior periapicals for a 20 image CMS, you will expose the central incisors as shown before. The difference between the five and three periapicals is the specific exposure to the individual lateral incisors and the canines. The angulation for these exposures includes centering each individual tooth, number six, seven, 10, and 11, directly in the middle of the sensor. This will be completed while ensuring the contacts are open and the sensor is parallel to the long axis of the tooth. You will want to capture the incisal edge of each incisor and the apex of the tooth with 2-3 to three millimeters of bone apical to the root. When taking periapical radiographs, the paralleling technique should be used. In the paralleling technique, the long axis of the film or sensor is placed parallel with the long axis of the radiographed teeth. Since teeth are slightly inclined, the sensor will need to be slightly angled in the mouth. If the sensor is perfectly upright, the patient will not be able to bite down properly on the bite block and the final image will not be parallel. When the x-ray beam is aligned with the ring, the beam will be perpendicular to the teeth and the sensor. If this technique is utilized correctly, the image of the tooth will not be distorted and will look the same as the tooth itself.